From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Brought to you by Send Out Cards. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. A Colorado restaurant is under investigation in connection with an outbreak of salmonella. Health officials are completely stumped since it's not a Chipotle. Paramedics in the UK took a man to the hospital after he called 911 for a stroke. When they arrived, he leapt up and thanked paramedics for the lift. He only wanted a ride to the hospital to visit a friend. Well, he's going to need a hospital, though, once he gets the bill from the ambulance company and the fine for abusing 911. Researchers now say it is healthier to walk along a busy road and breathe in exhaust fumes than it is to sit inside your air-conditioned car. Blame it on unfiltered air from exhaust fumes and chemicals from car seats, audio equipment, and air fresheners. It's bad news for those with long commutes, as they say the bad interior air can cause cancer and respiratory diseases. They recommend opening your car's windows, but only along country roads. Really? I've, I've been down some of those country roads and those smells? They can also make you sick. Snapchat's stock dropped almost 8% Thursday after a tweet from Kylie Jenner, who said she doesn't open the app anymore. Really? You know, I'd think less Kylie Jenner for anything would be a positive thing. Uber has rolled out an express pool service that rivals taking the bus. But then doesn't everything rival taking the bus? There is a new date for the end of the world. It is now the year 2 billion 2018. The Scottish researcher says too little carbon dioxide will cause the death of animals and plants. In a billion years, he believes animals and plants will die off. Then, another billion years after, with the loss of our oceans, Earth becomes even too desolate for even tiny microbes at that point. Doggone it. So why did I agree to buy the extended warranty on my home's solar panels then? Jeff Bezos is building a 10,000-year clock in Texas. I believe it's supposed to be used to time really long baseball games. Toys R Us is said to be getting close to shutting down more stores. Toys R Us, the 2018 version of Radio Shack. At the Brit Awards on Wednesday, performers carried white flowers to show their support for the Time's Up movement. Because as we all know, sexual predators are repelled by white flowers like vampires are to garlic. No? All right, then you explain why they did it. Krispy Kreme has introduced its latest limited edition donut, the Hershey's Gold Donut. All right, now I don't I don't do any food advertised as limited edition. I'm sorry. I mean, why get addicted to something new and tasty with the foreknowledge that it's going to be taken away from me shortly thereafter? That is psychological torment, and there should be a law against it. Are you listening to me, McRib? Goldilocks, the oldest polar bear in the U.S., has died at the age of 37. Apparently, life just got too hard. Or too soft. Or just right. A Tennessee inmate has escaped for the sixth time. Perhaps it's time to stop giving him car washing and key polishing duties. A new survey says that one in every three Americans has more credit card debt than savings because appearing to have a lot of money is much more important than actually having that money. That's the American way. Venezuelans lost an average of 24 pounds last year because of their food shortage. Vogue magazine is now searching for their next supermodels in Venezuela. Well, this is ironically bizarre. An organization that tracks far-right extremists says the number of Ku Klux Klan chapters in the U.S. is plummeting because the new generation of racists wants something cooler than the old-school white robes and hoods thing. You know, a hipper version of hate. The Southern Poverty Law Center said in a report that its count of Klan groups fell from 130 in 2016 to just 72 last year. SPLC Intelligence Project Director Heidi Barrick says the Klan seems to be collapsing because younger white supremacists are turned off by its old-school traditions. So, the KKK isn't hip anymore. Well, that's just a darn shame, ain't it? New research shows that the reason people keep shoving money into slot machines is because slot machines are designed to make so much noise, in a sense begging for more money. Kind of like teenagers. 
The much-Oscar-nominated movie The Shape of Water is being accused of ripping off a 1969 play. The late author's son claims there are 60 similarities between his father's play and the movie. And he might have a point. Both the play and the film both use words like a and the and 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 or and. A study by Bankrate.com finds that 76% of Americans do not have enough money set aside to survive a six-month emergency such as a job loss. Poor souls. I mean, I am totally prepared for six months without a job. I mean, I've got access to my neighbor's Wi-Fi signal, I got a prepaid Netflix account, and a list of pizza delivery phone numbers. I am good to go. While driving across New York's Tappan Zee Bridge, Chevy Chase was shoved to the ground during a road rage incident after he followed a driver and confronted him. Fortunately, he wasn't hurt due to all the practice he had falling all those years on Saturday Night Live. Amazon is going to open more cashierless stores in Seattle and Los Angeles later this year. C can you still use the smiley face on your logo if you're going to create grumpy faces on your customers by not offering customer service? In Hempfield Township, Pennsylvania, Wendover Middle School canceled classes after a sleepwalking student was found inside the building. State police say the 7th grade student called 911 on Wednesday around 2.30 in the morning to report he'd been sleepwalking and woke up in the school. They believe the student entered the school through a window and wandered around for about 15 minutes. Police say the student lives about four miles from the school. The Hempfield Area School District canceled classes Wednesday due to security concerns and police swept the building. Whoa! We got a sleepwalker! We better cancel school! Congresswoman Claudia Tenney from upstate New York claimed in a radio interview that most mass shooters are Democrats. So the ones wanting to ban guns are the ones using guns badly. Okay, whatever. Before you post your profile on Match.com, have somebody check your grammar. According to the Wall Street Journal, many singles are picky about the grammar gaffes they see on dating sites. And you don't want to be in a situation where you have to explain why you loves moonlicked walks on the breach. We're getting a better look at that University of California study, and they are now saying a moderate amount of beer or wine and a couple of cups of coffee a day could be your key to living past the age of 90. And to think, I have been wasting my time taking vitamins all these years. While summer often means slamming your hand into an icy cooler and popping the top on a cold can or a bottle, for peak pleasure, consider drinking only bottled beer that has been poured into a glass. The beer experts say much of the taste comes from the aroma, and if you drink from the bottle, you won't be able to take in the aroma as well. For ultimate effect, you can drink the beer through your nose. A man was pulled over recently on a California freeway while riding a horse. When his blood alcohol level was tested, it allegedly registered at twice the legal limit for operating a vehicle. Uh, okay, hold on here. Wait, the man was just a passenger. The horse was the one driving. I've never heard of a horse being called a vehicle. Why not give the horse the roadside sobriety test instead, huh? Let the innocent passenger get on with his life. Bachelor Nation's Claire Crawley is engaged. And it only took four reality shows to find the right guy. Last Friday on The Ellen Show, actor Josh Duhamel told DeGeneres it was hard to see his ex, Fergie, get slammed for her recent national anthem performance at the NBA All-Star Game. Duhamel continued saying, I think she would admit that it's not her best work, but the girl is crazy talented, she really is, she's an amazing woman, an amazing human being, really. Okay, you, you said some good things there, Joshy, but you should have left out the part about it not being her best work. Have you learned nothing about women? In Indonesia, a 36-year-old father is facing a possible jail term after posting a picture of his nine-month-old son, apparently smoking a cigarette. Allegedly, the father put the lit cigarette in his son's mouth while his 18-year-old wife took the picture. When police saw it, they arrested the man, and he could be jailed for six months under Indonesia's Child Protection Act. Apparently, North America doesn't have a monopoly on morons. The Weinstein Company announced that it is filing bankruptcy, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer predator. 
In Seattle, someone complained about a Confederate flag being flown on a flagpole below a U.S. flag. Turns out that was not a Confederate flag. It was a Norwegian flag. But that's to be expected, because this is America, where if you can't find something to be offended by, you have to make something up. From the New York mob scene, we can report that Bonanno crime family consigliere John Porky Zanocchio has been thrown back behind bars after violating the terms of his parole by visiting an alleged mobbed-up pizzeria. So where else would you expect to find a wise guy nicknamed Porky Zanocchio if not at a mobbed-up pizza parlor? General Mills has bought Blue Buffalo Pet products for $8 billion. Let's hope they don't get those two mixed up. That'd make for some strange flavors in the baby food aisle. The Centers for Disease Control, which houses the world's most deadly viruses, is asking for a new building in Atlanta after only 13 years in the current one. Sounds to me like somebody spilled something and they're way too scared to clean it up. New research suggests too many people are getting extra sedation treatment during their colonoscopy exams, costing as much as $1 billion yearly in potentially needless services. Use of anesthesiologists to monitor sedation during colonoscopies and other digestive imaging tests has been doubled in recent years, and they are used more often for low-risk patients who typically don't need the extra help, according to the study authors. These services are not harming patients, says Dr. Soren Matke. They're basically giving them a luxury that is not strictly necessary. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe so, but who wants to be awake while getting a colonoscopy? This past week, Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner was on stage and for some reason thought it would be a great idea to raise a glass of chocolate milk and make a toast to diversity. Well, yeah, I mean, if he had used white milk, that would have been racist. The organization that oversees emojis has changed the lobster emoji after people in Maine complained that it didn't have the correct number of legs. Okay, now that we have that fixed, can we go back to working on a cure for cancer? A second Russian athlete tested positive for a banned substance at the Olympic Games. So you can influence the U.S. presidential election, but you can't remember that using banned substances is the exact reason why you weren't allowed to compete under your own flag this year at the Winter Olympics? According to a Swiss study, the chances are good that you can add a few years to your life if you take the stairs instead of the elevator. Doing this over a three-month period will dramatically increase your level of fitness and probably increase your level of body odor. Only 14 percent of U.S. workers believe they have the perfect job, and more than half want to change careers. The Harris survey showed that the most coveted jobs are in the arts and sciences, business management, technology, and healthcare. I guess it, I, the, the, the saying is true, I guess. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Unless you truly are in the arts, at which point that grass may be pink or, or plaid or polka dot or, or purple. Former 49ers linebacker Gary Plummer says he suffered 2,500 concussions in his NFL career. When asked if he felt there were any lasting effects, he replied, eggplant. Both men and women agree that curling is the least sexy Winter Olympic sport. Curling, it might actually be the only time when a man with a broom doesn't turn the ladies on. A fear of being sued has led many cities to ban sledding and lawyers won't stop until all joy in life has been removed entirely. A man in the UK was stunned after finding a shark in his garden when it fell from the sky. Colin Hill spotted the two-foot-long cat shark around lunchtime on Thursday. He believes the shark was picked up by an overambitious seagull that dropped it mid-flight. Either that or the Sci-Fi Channel is filming a movie in his neighborhood. Star Wars star Mark Hamill has finally gotten his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It took time, but they finally made room for him after somebody realized he didn't yet have a star, yet Shrek and the Rugrats do. Seriously, they do. Look it up. The ratings for the Olympics were down this year, so to get people interested again, the next Olympics will take place in Wakanda. A report says UFO sightings are at an all-time high. But then you see a lot of space cases around Oscars time. The United Airlines flight from New Jersey to Tampa was delayed after a passenger escaped the plane by opening the emergency exit door and jumping off using the inflatable slide. 
United Airlines Flight 1640 was parked at the gate at Newark Liberty International Airport when the passenger popped a chute and slid down. When officers arrived, the panicked passenger was yelling that he'd mistakenly got on the wrong flight. The passenger, 25-year-old Troy Fatten, was placed under arrest and the flight was delayed for more than five hours. But now, Troy gets to tell everybody he got to slide down the airplane slide. That's something we've all wanted to do. Come on, admit it. Totally worth it. Billy Graham will be buried in a coffin made by prisoners to reflect his simple lifestyle. The man continues to be a shining example even in death. A new study says that we touch our cell phones an average of 2,617 times a day even more on days we go to the movies. Chicago is known as the Windy City, but its reputation is exaggerated. Among the 68 windiest cities in the U.S., it ranks only 21st. Cheyenne, Wyoming and Great Falls, Montana top the list, and when it comes to hot wind, top of the list is Washington, D.C. Dunkin' Donuts has announced three new coffee flavors inspired by popular Girl Scout cookies. The trio of new flavors includes Thin Mint, Coconut Caramel, and Peanut Butter Cookie. All three flavors of coffees will be available nationwide beginning this Monday. This is great news! I mean, up to now, I've been crumbling up Thin Mints into dust and sticking them in the coffee filter. A new study shows that young people are becoming so reliant on electronic devices they can no longer remember everyday details like their own phone numbers. D don't worry, kids, though. The NSA has got you covered. At an Italian fashion show over the weekend, instead of models carrying the new line of purses down the runway, Dolce and Gabbana had drones fly them by for all to see. Critics still complained, though, that the drones looked too fat to be modeling. Emily Ratajkowski got married last Friday to a guy she's only been dating a few weeks. You know, I guess in Hollywood it's better to just get that first one out of the way quickly. Kosovo likes America. The country features an 11-foot statue of former President Clinton, a replica of the Statue of Liberty, and a man who named his favorite wolf after President Trump. In fact, this small southeastern European nation of nearly 2 million people, largely ethnic Albanians, has been named the most pro-American nation in the world. In the latest Gallup World Poll, Kosovo gave the current U.S. administration a 75 percent approval rating, which is the top score. This loyalty has its roots in the brutal 1998-1999 war with Serbia. The United States led NATO airstrikes that drove away Serbian strongman Slobodan Milosevic's army. What a bizarre world we live in, huh? I mean, Kosovo likes America more than America likes America. The 90th Academy Awards are this Sunday with Jimmy Kimmel hosting, so you can go ahead and assume there will be a lot of Republican backlash this coming Monday morning. A woman wearing her man's clothing can often be sexy, like the button-down dress shirt she wears instead of a nightgown. Uh, oh yeah, and now supposedly women are wearing men's underwear. At department stores Marks & Spencer, the barometer of underwear in the UK, women are now buying more men's underwear than men are. And while it can't be confirmed how many girls are buying for their guys, they do know that a particular line of boxers is walking out the door and ending up on women. Word of caution here, this does not work the other way around, boys. Do not fit yourself for a sexy teddy. Your girlfriend ain't gonna like that. Starbucks is removing 30 percent of the products from its menu. 100 percent of the items will still remain overpriced. Well, that didn't take long. Josh Duhamel has been seen out and about with actress Elsa Gonzalez after his split with Fergie. You know, any possibility of his wanting to get back with Fergie disappeared after her star-spangled butchering. I mean, who wants to be around that kind of criticism? China is taking steps to remove their president's term limits so that Jinping's second five-year term when it's over, he can stay as leader for life. Hey, how about we do that here so we can keep Trump a while longer? Who's with me? All right, let the hateful comments begin. In Gainesville, Georgia, a crematorium was damaged because it caught on fire. It seems the high heat from cremations sparked a fire in the attic at Memorial Park Funeral Home. There was already heavy smoke and fire damage by the time firefighters arrived. Fortunately, crews were able to knock down the fire in about 10 minutes and no one was injured. Well, yeah, because the majority of the people inside were already dead. 
New research says the doctors cut the umbilical cord too soon. Finally, a problem that doesn't apply to me. My mom didn't cut my umbilical cord until I got married and moved out of the house. Spurs head coach Greg Popovich called Fox News host Laura Ingram's shut-up-and-dribble comments about LeBron James arrogant. Popovich said that to me, when I heard about it, it was an unbelievable show of arrogance for a talking head to try and tell someone else if they can speak, what they can speak about, when and where to do it. Of course, he did this while telling Laura Ingram how to speak, what she could speak about, and when and where to do it. The California Democratic Party is not endorsing longtime Senator Dianne Feinstein, but instead endorsing her progressive rival, State Senate Leader Kevin DeLeon. Apparently, the descent into financial abyss just wasn't taking place fast enough for Californians. Last Sunday, a Pennsylvania church held a blessing for AR-15s. Man, that is a tough church! I wonder if, for communion, they've traded in the unleavened bread and wine for spicy Doritos and whiskey shots. President Trump is said to be pushing to have his longtime personal pilot, John Duncan, to be named head of the Federal Aviation Administration. Then after that, the man who drives the garbage truck in his New York neighborhood will be made Secretary of the Interior, and Dora the Explorer is being suggested for Secretary of Education. A new study shows that just under 80 percent of all Americans own a smartphone. Of those smartphone users, only 20 percent were smarter than the actual smartphone. Recently, they had a very rare snowy day in Rome, causing schools to close and roads to shut down. Now, For comparison, it's kind of like Dallas, Texas, receiving a few flurries and the entire city shutting down in a panic thinking it's a snowpocalypse. The American men's team that upset Sweden in curling to win the gold medal were mistakenly given the women's curling gold medal. Wow, even the Olympic medals are transgender now. Recent research found that the brain enters a meditative state when going through green spaces. The findings don't mean the green space triggered spacing out, rather the engagement required to walk through a green space is more effortless, meaning that actors using green screens are the most disengaged people on the planet. Clueless star and former Fox commentator Stacey Dash is running for Congress in California. Most California voters are already clueless, so this could be the perfect match. According to new research, listening to music at work actually makes you better at your job. The study found that workers performed their tasks better if they were listening to music. More than 80 percent of those involved in the study had more accurate test results and worked faster if they had music going. However, it should be noted that the study was conducted on behalf of several music licensing companies, so the people behind the research definitely had a stake in the results. Whoa, wow, so a survey that has an agenda! Gee, you never hear of that happening. A New York State woman faces driving while intoxicated charges after she drove drunk to the police station to pick up her brother, who had also been charged with DWI. So I guess it's true. Low intelligence is genetic. Barbara Streisand paid to have her dead dog cloned. Twice. Meanwhile, she has not spent a dime on getting that nose fixed. A woman in China was tired of having her little general store robbed, so she decided to send potential criminals a clear message with a sign on her roll-down security door that reads, Dear friends, none of us are rich here. Please don't patronize our store anymore. There's nothing of value here. If you break my door, I have to pay to fix it. Thank you." Believe it or not, her store has not been robbed in the year since she posted that message. Apple has announced that they are going to open their own medical clinic for their employees. But this is Apple, so everything will be three times as expensive and all medical instruments and medications will be proprietary. Men's Health says a Cornell University study found dieters shown a negative message about junk food like it's evil ate 39 percent more of it than people given a positive message like it's tasty. Because, well, sin is always fun for a season. Apple is planning to release three new smartphones later this year, including the largest iPhone ever. How big is it? Do you remember Dance Dance Revolution? Virginia Tech's head basketball coach had enough at their Monday night game and finally grabbed the PA microphone and ordered his team's fans to stop swearing. His exact words were, quit cussing. You know, when has yelling at college students to tell them what to do ever worked in the history of higher education? 
Has this guy never seen Animal House? Jared Kushner's government security clearance has been downgraded. Can you imagine how humiliating it is now to have to have permission slips signed by your wife to do your job? A new study indicates that grapefruit can help dieters lose weight, and it may also be a good way of controlling blood sugar levels. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, found that mice drank grapefruit juice while eating a high-fat diet for three months gained 18 percent less weight than a control group that drank water. In addition, the mice in the grapefruit group had improved levels of glucose and insulin. And you know, I tried this and it really it wasn't all that bad once I covered it in sugar. The council of a small town in Germany voted Monday night to keep the bell in their local church. It is a Nazi-era bell, complete with swastika and the inscription, Everything for the Fatherland, Adolf Hitler. You know, in fact, I, I think this is great, actually. I mean, the ringer part of the bell is called a hammer, so every time they ring the church bell, they're slamming a hammer against Adolf Hitler. I think it's perfect. According to a survey, payouts by the Tooth Fairy dropped in 2017 by 11 percent. Thanks a lot, Donald Trump! More than half of U.S. employees say they take business calls or check their work emails while on vacation. The convenience of laptops and mobile devices make vacation time work easier than ever, but researchers say there is such a thing as too much work and it's necessary that we simply unplug from the office. Unplug from the office? Heck, you know what? I'm always looking to plug in to get my cell phone charged while on vacation so I can get emails. Disney is going to spend 2 billion euros to improve Disneyland Paris, including a new Star Wars area. Fortunately, you're already too late for it. It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. In China, surveillance video shows a very naughty boy enter an elevator and then proceed to urinate all over the buttons. He very methodically aims his stream at the control panel, moving it up and down so it was fully doused. Then he zips up and gets ready to leave, but things go very wrong. Thanks to his actions, the buttons no longer work and he finds himself trapped in the elevator. He starts to panic as the lights flicker and go out, leaving him stranded and in the dark. The mischievous child was saved by emergency services a few minutes later, but he refused to admit to peeing on the button panel. The parents also believed their son incapable of doing such a feat, but then they all got to watch the video together. Actress Heather Locklear, 56, was arrested Sunday in Thousand Oaks, California on suspicion of felony domestic violence. Look, you know, I've said in the past that I wouldn't mind being hit on by Heather Locklear, but this is not the way I meant it. On a recent Southwest Airlines flight, one passenger's emotional support dog reportedly bit a girl who was also on the flight. The bite happened while passengers were boarding the flight from Phoenix to Portland, Oregon. You know, the emotional pet thing on planes, this really needs to stop. I mean, if you are such an emotional wreck that you can't board a plane without bringing an animal with you, perhaps you're too much of an emotional wreck to be on a plane at all. In what may be shocking news for some parents, a report finds that American kids get 12 percent of their calories from fast food restaurants. Really? That, uh, that sounds kind of low to me. According to a study, talking on a cell phone for close to an hour has an impact on brain activity, causing a spike in brain glucose metabolism. Yeah, Bob, uh, I gotta call you back. I'm expecting a call from the neurosurgeon about my brain tumor surgery. New connected car research from Parks Associates finds 57 percent of U.S. broadband households are interested in voice control features for their car, with interest highest among consumers who already own smart speakers or use voice recognition on their smartphones. You'd have to be careful what features would be voice-controlled, though. I mean, sometimes I have to ask Alexa a question three times before she gets what I'm looking for. I'd rather not apply that method to hitting the brakes. Sorry, I don't know that one. Shut up, Alexa! Hud Secretary Ben Carson's office was redecorated. The official budget was $5,000, but they spent $31,000 on a table alone. It's the perfect table where they can sit down to discuss how to help poor people. A recent study finds that multitasking is not a good thing. According to research from Stanford University, multitasking hurts overall productivity and also affects your ability to recall information and slows you down. Additional research shows that it can even lower your IQ. 
According to the Relevant Magazine report, a team of researchers looked at MRI scans of people who spend a lot of time doing things like texting and watching television at the same time and found that they had lower brain density. Which pretty much explains teenagers. Lisa Marie Presley says her $100 million fortune is gone. You know what? We should have seen that one coming. She obviously doesn't think straight. She married Michael Jackson for crying out loud. No one who does that is playing with a full deck. Ford is going to test their new self-driving cars in Miami. They'll be the ones with the blinkers not on. The agents of some stars are telling their clients to avoid Ryan Seacrest on the red carpet at the Oscars this Sunday just to play it safe. You know what? If this keeps up, we may have to change American Idol to American I Don't. Amazon has bought the Ring Doorbell Company, which means if you are a Prime member, when somebody comes to your door and rings your doorbell, Amazon will answer it for you in just two days. As unbelievable as it may seem, researchers at Harvard have come to the conclusion that ketchup might actually lower your risk of getting prostate cancer. Ketchup labels will now include the warning for internal use only. President Trump said earlier this week that he doesn't care about being popular, but rather he cares about getting things done. And he is totally getting things done. One tweet at a time. Warren Buffett says he doesn't have a smartphone, but he does own several people who do. Tech giants Sony, Google, and Samsung have filed patents for smart contact lenses that take photos, record video, display information, and more. The camera is cued by a light sensor that senses eye movement. Images are then transferred wirelessly to a smartphone. And for just a few dollars more, you can have them make that $6 million man sound. You know, whatever you focus at a distance. According to research by the Wall Street Journal, the average three-hour baseball game contains only 18 minutes of action which means that they are still getting more done than Congress. Donald Trump says he would have rushed into the Florida school shooting incident unarmed. So basically, all we need to do is clone Donald Trump and have one at each school. There you go, problem solved. If he stays on schedule, Wisconsin retiree Don Gorski will eat his 30,000th McDonald's Big Mac on May 4th. He's been eating two a day for many, many years. Well, uh, let's hope he has his McCoffin ready for his inevitable McDeath. In Tarpon Springs, Florida, 27-year-old Giselle Taylor was arrested after fatally shooting her and her fiancé's dog during an argument over crack. No, not that kind of crack. Police said Taylor got angry at her fiancé because he wouldn't crack her back, as she wanted him to. So she grabbed a 9mm handgun from the garage and loaded it. According to the police report, Taylor told officers she intended to scare her fiancé, but when she didn't get the response she wanted, she pointed the gun at their two-year-old boxer and pulled the trigger. Taylor drove away from the house but was arrested a short time later. She's now free on $5,000 bail. A Tennessee drone pilot who tried to rescue his aircraft when it got stuck at the top of a tree had to be rescued from the tree himself when he got stuck about 40 feet up. They sent a drone to save him. 15% of teens report having received inappropriate photos via text. The remaining 85% are known pathological liars. Dick's Sporting Goods announced they will stop selling assault-style rifles and will require all gun buyers to be 21. Meanwhile, there are no restrictions for knives, crossbows, rat poison, and hatchets. Department store Neiman Marcus is selling a Dolce & Gabbana toaster for $600. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Lisa Marie is broke. What this country needs is another talk show, right? Well, ABC is going to give Alec Baldwin his own show. Oh, wait a minute, didn't we already have a show called Anger Management? Panasonic is experimenting with a self-driving fridge named Koo that will bring your food right to you. It uses LiDAR and depth sensors to map your home. It's voice-activated. Tell it where to go, and it will come. When done, it returns to its own cubby hole in the wall. Panasonic plans to market it to people with disabilities, or to people like me who are just too lazy to get out of the recliner. Hey, refrigerator, bring me that pumpkin pie and a fork. Sorry, I'm not sure. Ah, shut up. 
Apple is going to offer a 10-part TV series that will be executive produced by M. Night Shyamalan, who is also going to direct the first installment. So we can expect it to be severely overhyped and a complete disappointment upon watching. Khloe Kardashian says she will announce the sex of her baby on The Kardashians, which came as a big shock to absolutely nobody. Anything for ratings. Fear of missing out, or FOMO, is apparently a real thing for social media users. In fact, a new survey reveals 56% of social media users are afraid of missing out on events, news, and important status updates if they are away from social networks. While 56% fear they will miss something important, ironically, it's only 0.00056% of posts that qualify as important. The rest are pictures of cats and food. A study says millennials are the fattest generation in history. Yeah, but that's fat spelled with a PH, right? No? Oh. A Michigan man won the lottery three times in one day last week. He bought a scratch ticket, it paid off, bought another one, it paid off, and a third. When the winning was over, he walked away with $325,000. So if you were looking for someone to resent this week, now you have someone. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own pictures if you wish. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!